students. In part one, we looked at the main points of what to do to identify main ideas. We looked at the first example in the book on page two. Now we're going to the next page. If you need to review the strategies for finding the main idea, then read the top of page three by yourself. Now we're going to go down to skill practice one. In skill practice one, they give you a paragraph. We're gonna find the topic first, and then we're gonna find the main idea, which is the claim of the paragraph. Now underneath the paragraph, there are four possible answers for what the main idea might be. So let's first read this paragraph. When people think about illnesses, they usually think of physical illnesses. However, mental illnesses are on the rise in many developed countries. A 2011 study in the United States, for example, found that the number of Americans who could not perform ordinary daily routines because of a mental illness nearly doubled between 1987 and 2007. This huge growth has raised many important questions about mental health. Some health experts believe that the increase in mental illnesses is due to better diagnosis of this disease. They argue that doctors today are trained to recognize mental illnesses, such as depression. These experts also believe that people are more comfortable talking about their problems today, whereas in the past, a mental illness was seen as a weakness. Other researchers, however, think that life is becoming more stressful and that this stress leads to more people suffering from this type of illness. With one in 10 Americans taking drugs to fight mental illnesses, it is clear that more research needs to take place before these important questions are answered. So to start with, we've just read the whole paragraph. And what is the topic? Well, what gets talked about over and over and over again throughout the whole paragraph? If you were thinking that the topic is mental illness, you are correct. The topic is mental illnesses. Now this paragraph is a bit tricky in finding the main idea because the beginning of this paragraph once again gives an introduction to, it's kind of like background information about the topic and the topic is mental illness. So what this author does is first introduces the topic by bringing up physical illnesses as a contrast, and then they bring up mental illness, and they talk about how it's rising. That means the numbers of people who are getting mental illness is going up. This is a general claim. This could possibly be the main idea. 
The next sentence gives details. A 2011 study in the United States, for example, found that the number of Americans who could not perform ordinary daily routines because of mental illness nearly doubled. So this is saying, this is supporting as a detail this statement here, which is saying that the number of people with mental illness is going up. So at first glance, it does appear as though this is the main idea. However, if we look at the next sentence, it says this huge growth, the huge growth that was just talked about, has raised many important questions about mental health. And then everything after that is talking about the important questions that are being raised about mental health. So even though this looks like this could be the main idea and this could be a supporting detail, when we look at the whole paragraph, we realize that that is really just background information. We look at the sentences that come after this sentence here about the huge growth that has raised many important questions. We find that every sentence after that is talking about those important questions. So this sentence here about the huge growth must be the main idea. In this next sentence, it's talking about, well, maybe the huge growth is because we're better at diagnosing the disease. And then there's the next sentence that says, or oh, maybe the doctors are trained to recognize mental illness better. That's why they're able to diagnose it. Or maybe people are more comfortable talking about their problems today, whereas in the past they didn't. So maybe that's why we have such a huge growth. Or maybe life is becoming more stressful and this stress is making more people get the mental illness. So all of these are speculations. These are questions about mental health. So if we look down here, what are our choices? A, the number of people suffering from mental illness is increasing in developed countries. Okay, don't be tricked by that one general statement up here and that one example given to support it because remember the rest of the paragraph is talking about the questions about mental health, the important questions. So if it was just this much, if you only had up to here and the paragraph ended right here, then A would be correct, that the number of people suffering is increasing. But let's look at the rest of the options. B, the increase in mental illness is raising serious questions among mental health experts. Ah, this huge growth has raised many important questions about mental health. That is the general statement that the rest of the paragraph supports. If we look here, 10% of Americans take a drug to fight some type of mental illness. We know that can't be the main idea because that has numbers, facts, it has details. And remember, the main idea will be general. And then D, if we look here, many health experts believe that better diagnosis of mental illness explains the increase in numbers. Well, I remember it talked about it right here, better diagnosis. This was a supporting detail of the main idea. The main idea is that the huge growth has raised many important questions about mental health. And then all of these are the questions. So the correct answer would be B. And that is the end of this lesson.